Hi, it's Tara Green. I wanted to bring you a tarot card reading of the day for the April the 9th Mars square Neptune and Pisces uh, aspect, which is a major aspect. Uh, Mars and Gemini square Neptune and Pisces. So Mars and Gemini is about communication, fast thinking, fast talking, changing partners, flirting, connecting with people, social media, getting very active on social media, uh, your passion for thinking, for partnerships, for communication, sales, all of that stuff. And Neptune rules Pisces. So Neptune's been in Pisces for a long time. Uh, Neptune rules what they call soulmates or what people call, um, you know, unconditional lovers, uh, karmic lovers, love addictions, illusions, delusions, glamour, Hollywood gurus, projection. So is it real or isn't it? Usually it's not real. So how do we separate out what's real and what isn't? As Gemini is a dualistic sign, that is the major question to ask on all levels. So I divided this into the four elements. So fire on the left, the page of voices, earth, the nine of voices, air, temperance, number 14, and water, the four of emotions. So this is from the beautiful Muse Tarot. So I'm going to just briefly go over this. So the page of voices, again, is very much embodying the energy of Mercury. It's, uh, the pages are the younger, like Mercurial, like Gemini, you know, the eternal Peter Pan of the Zodiac. That's a great, perfect image for uh, Mars and Gemini. Page of voices, so a younger um, voice, literally the voice, communications, air, the lungs, you know, we need the lungs to breathe, to speak. Um, this deck is only all female based, by the way, so, and Mars is actually kind of a dualistic uh, masculine feminine sign anyway. So our minds, what are we communicating about? How our voices and our minds work together? So maybe you want to put on your glasses so you can see a little closer behind that Neptunian fog that's going on. Uh, under the element of Earth, which would be Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. By the way, fire uh, on the left there, page of voices, rules, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, and this one, the nine of voices, or it would be like the nine of cups in a regular tarot deck, uh, would govern Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So the nine of voices, or sorry, the nine of voices is again air, sorry, I made a mistake there, air, so the air element is again thinking, communications, breathing, you know, and the nines. The nines are always very good and very positive in the tarot. Uh, she seems to be dreaming, which is what Neptune rules, the dream world, the unconscious, the imagination, visualization. So it would be a very good day to visualize not just one, but two things that you want, actually, and to put that out in a very balanced way, like there is a way of uh, meditating where you have an active imagination, where you put out your intention and then you receive, okay, and that would be a nice... Mars, Gemini, Square, Neptune, and Pisces balance, okay? So Earth signs, open your voice. Taurus rules uh, the throat, actually, by the way. So sounding, uh, that kind of meditation, crystal bath, sound bath would be very good to do to tune into your higher self today because that's what Mars and Gemini is also about, tuning into your higher self, your wishes, your hopes, your dreams, your projections. What do I want to create? Your imagination is everything. So and then the third column over the air, so the element of air is Gemini itself, Libra, and Aquarius, and they get the number 14 temperance. Now again, uh, Gemini, balance, the balance of two opposites. You can see there's two women there. Um, you know, they would embody in a way some kind of a Mars and Gemini duality. Um, we need that duality to balance things out. In alchemy, there's always a, a positive negative. Negative isn't bad, it's just charges or a yin yang. So to balance yourself out right now is really important to look at where you're off. Uh, Neptune and Pisces can be about denial and illusions and delusions and excuses and escapism and addictions and all that stuff. So you really want to look at how far off the charts you are and want to bring yourself back into balance. Also, we're heading for that very powerful new moon and the women are holding the moon phases there as well. So be aware of how your feelings fluctuate uh, with the moon, with your thoughts. You know, be aware of your thoughts. It would be a good day to do some walking meditation, breathing meditation, watch how the mind just monkey mind, just chatter, 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 especially with Mars and Gemini. Hard to get your thoughts down to order. Now, the last one on the right here, the four of emotions would be like the four of cups, you can see, and that represents the element of water, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So because Neptune is in Pisces, uh, there's this nice kind of uh, typical like Rorschach, the, is it the cup or is it the two faces coming together to kiss? It's so Neptunian, actually. I love this, that it's actually you know, of course, this, uh, the synchronicity of the tarot always works. 
So the four of emotions, the number four is always about power. It's about balance. Again, the four elements, fire, water, air, earth, which we have in front of us here. Um, making sure that to stay balanced within our own inner masculine and feminine, which everybody has. I know people don't like to use those gender things, but it is about polarity. Everything is created from polarity. So we really, we don't want to get rid of that because then nothing happens. It's like nullifying everything. Um, so sparking up your mind, using your imagination, very creative day. Use this energy well. Yes, uh, connect, talk, um, you know, flirt, meet with people. But definitely it's always about doing the inner work. So if you want to get in touch with me, I'm at terratero.com. Please follow me on my blog at infinitynow.wordpress.com. Uh, subscribe to me here on YouTube. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok too. Many blessings to you and enjoy this aspect very dreamy. Make sure you pay attention to your dreams too all weekend because there's a lot of aspects. There's also Venus sextile Jupiter on the 10th and then this really super powered on the 11th on the new and besides seven planets in Aries, it's Venus square Pluto. So a lot of intense energy this weekend. Blessings to you. You can join me on my new moon astrology magic workshop. Uh, I'm having Sunday the 11th at 7 30 p.m. Eastern daylight time. You can sign up for that on my blog at terratero.com. It's $22. Um, there will be a guided meditation. It'll explain about all the planets, what's going on, and it's a super power, Newman, so please join me. Blessings.